Welcome to Land the House. I'm Seth. I have a ram pump down in my creek, which is a water pump that requires no fuel or electricity. And it brings creek water up here to the top of my hill where I have three 55 gallon drums as a storage tank. I fill this from the bottom, which kind of freaks out a lot of people. But basically, one of these pipes circles up around over here, feeds from the bottom, and so the tanks will uh, have the water rise up until it gets to the top. And then I've got a little pipe over here where the overflow comes out. And that uh, basically just goes back down on the hill and uh, it's only made it a couple of feet in two or three weeks with the overflow. So it's not a lot of water, but it's enough to fill these tanks. So I was asked the question, why do I fill from the bottom? Well, one of the reasons is I just wanted to show people that it could be done. But the other reason is because it's faster. Now, why does that make sense? If you are lifting this all the way to the top, then it has to fill from the top all the time. So let's say this right here is 30 feet above the creek, and that right there is 33 feet above the creek. So if the pipe is at the bottom, it's only having to lift 30 feet, and then 31 and 32 and 33 as it raises the water up into these tanks. But if your pipe is going to the top from the very beginning, it always has that extra three feet that it has to push water up and fall into the tanks. That being said, I want to drain the tanks and I'd like to time. So first I will time from the bottom and then we will take this pipe, we will lift it up into the top and time it again to see how long it takes to get up there if it is filling from the top versus the bottom. So let's go ahead and go down the hill and drain the tanks real quick. That is called a sticker plant, I think. A sticker plant? Hmm, no. It's not too sticky. I don't know what that is. <coughs> this is where I'm gonna drain my water tanks here. What is this? So we'll just let all that run down the ditch, back down to the creek. So wet. So wet. Water is rather wet. I also use the water over here in my terribly untaken care of garden. I've got a wobbler sprinkler. I just barely turn it on here. Oh, so much pressure is being lost over there that it's not going to work. But basically, the wobbler shoots a jet up right here and it will wobble this thing. And you can see that's what happens it shoots the water out. Hey Emma, what'd you find? Toad. A toad. While the water drains out of those tanks, I thought I would show you my personal ram pump in case you have not seen it before. I've got the drive pipe coming from up the creek here, which is attached to my old flume and goes down here to the pump itself. Yeah, let's get a bit closer. So the water comes down the drive pipe and water squirts out of this waste valve. That causes a pressure wave that is both sent back up the pipe and also into the secondary valve here, which accumulates pressure in this pressure tank. And then water is sent uphill on this delivery pipe. Um, so whenever the water is sent away from this valve, the valve hangs back open again for just a second. And then the water comes back down and just repeats it over and over and over again. So this is delivering somewhere around a quarter gallon to a half gallon a minute up at the top of my tanks. You still have that uh, toad? Yeah. Um, that, I think he likes me. You think he likes you? Uh -huh. Let's see him one more time. Yep, he seems pretty happy. All right, let's go see if our water is drained out of the tanks up here. Wait. You trying to find him? Wait, what? You trying to find him? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Wait, Dad, do, do toes like to eat this? Leaves? Probably not. It's been 31 minutes. We're going to go up here and test out how much water we got. Uh, about right there, so. Well. So maybe, what is that? Uh, 20 gallons or so? It's been an hour and 13 minutes. 
Yeah, so we're about right there now. So it's moved up a little bit. Yeah, so uh, yeah, it may not be uh, a good test for today. I'll see if it's done before I leave for work here in about five or six hours. We're gonna have to start this test over again. I realized a little mistake of mine. So the water's coming up, goes to the tanks. We then opened up the pipe from the tanks down to uh, down there. And basically the ram pump had to fill this tube back up before it would start filling the tanks. I just realized that it was taking a long time to get back here and then it was filling the tanks faster. Um, so it was because of that line. And so whenever we disconnect here, bring a pipe up into the top, it won't be filling all of that. And so our test was already going to be off. So what I want to do is close this so that down to the garden is not open. And then we will drain that little bit that had made it up here. And that should be flowing pretty consistent there. Yeah, I think so. All right, so I'm gonna close this, start the timer, and we will go again. Okay, there we go. So now the water is already here and we'll begin filling the tanks and we won't have to fill this uh, 200 something foot of uh, three quarter inch pipe. So our test will be a lot more accurate now. I actually have restarted this test four times. So on this test, it's been eight hours and 25 minutes and uh, aha, I see water flow. So uh, I checked up here at eight hours and three minutes and we had uh, no flow. Yeah, it's all the way and we've got overflow down here. So I need to run this test one more time and about uh, eight hours and I don't know, 10 minutes. I need to check to get the exact time, but uh, so we're somewhere around the eight hours, 10 minutes for this test. So <sighs> this hill is too big. I'll drain it one more time so we can get an exact value tomorrow. I had to restart this test six times before I got the exact value. Apparently, whenever I start something like this and then eight hours later I have to check it, it's difficult. I either got distracted and forgot about it or was away from the house. So the time that it takes to fill these tanks from the bottom is eight hours and eight minutes. I first checked it three, uh, eight hours and three minutes and it was not quite there. Came back eight hours and 14 minutes, it had passed the top. And then my next test was eight hours and 10 minutes and it was overflowing. So 8.08 is whenever I watched it um, initially come out of my drain pipe over here. So if I zoom in pretty close, you can see that's the amount of water we've got coming out of here. So that being said, we now have 8.08 is our from the bottom value. I'm going to remove this little section here and uh, basically put a piece of poly pipe from here and go up over into the top and that will fill from the top for the entire test here. So let's go ahead and do that. Probably gonna wish I'd brought some pliers. Well, maybe not. All right, there we go. Got that out. I guess I probably should also drain this while we're at it. Just replace this non-return valve with a uh, three-quarter inch to half inch reducer. And then here's my new pipe. So I believe I just climb up here and just pull this top off. And we should be able to just simply set this in there. Like that. I'm gonna make sure that it's just barely in there so that it's uh, not gonna affect the exit pipe over here. Somebody once told me that watching my videos always makes them wanna pee. I don't get it. So I'm thinking that this is gonna take 30 minutes to an hour longer because it has to fill uh, basically from this point to the top all the time. 
versus slowly filling up as it goes. So I don't know what three feet of head pressure does to the ram pump in limiting the amount of water that's coming out. Um, that's kind of why we're here. So uh, we'll see. I'm going to go ahead and uh, wait for this to be done. And then we will go ahead and set the timer. It's 12 o'clock now, so I'll come back in eight hours and just see how close we are to the top. And we'll kind of have a better idea of how long this is going to take. And I will try to uh, pinpoint the exact time that the water will start coming out of the exit pipe over here. Here's a good example of the heartbeat the ram pump has. If I'm real still, you can watch this pipe jump with each cycle. Pretty cool. Okay, so that right there is our input water coming from the ram pump. So I believe it is now time to go ahead and uh, we've got this closed off still. When I close that, we will begin just filling up from this tube here and we'll see how long it's gonna take. All right, and we're off. So uh, this should answer the question of how much longer does it take to fill from the bottom versus from the top? So if you're debating on whether or not to fill from the bottom or the top, I did it here in my setup just to prove that it's possible. But in your setup, it's probably going to be better just to have your pipe go into the top. So uh, one thing that can happen in the top, if you have the delivery going up into a tree and then back down, the siphon effect can uh, stop the, the pump from running, working. But anyway, in this test, all we're going to be doing is just finding out a time for whether or not it's faster to go from the bottom. On the first test here, it has been eight hours and six minutes. I don't know if it's going to show up or there or not, but uh, nah, anyway, eight hours and six minutes. I think we're somewhere right around there. <laughs> it's close. Let me go up here and see if I can stick a thumb in it and find out where the level is. No, dry. Okay, so at this point before, I think it's around right there. So we are about, what, uh, that much away from the previous test. And so between the three different barrels, what is that, like 10, 15 gallons, something like that? Uh, so anyway, I'm gonna have to leave soon and I won't be able to finish the test today, but we'll know at least next time it's gonna be somewhere around eight hours and maybe 20, 30 minutes. So. We'll have to give it a try. It has no joke taking me three weeks of starting and restarting this test to get the two different numbers I needed. So for the first one, it took uh, eight hours and eight minutes for the water to go up through here, lift from the bottom, raise up to the top, and then go out of my overflow, which is right here. And then it took eight hours and 46 minutes to fill as it is in the current configuration that goes uh, sweeping around here up and then over into the top of the tank so that's our different numbers uh, eight hours eight minutes eight hours and 46 minutes so it's the difference between uh, 38 minutes to fill up this uh, 150 gallons and uh, I kind of did some math. If these are linear and you had the same height for a thousand gallon tank that was roughly three feet tall, it would take an extra four hours to fill these tanks from the top instead of from the bottom. So I'm not very good with math, so these may not be linear as they fill, but that was just basic algebra for that. So if you were to fill, let's say a taller tank, maybe, I don't know, six, 10 foot tall tank, then these numbers would be even more dramatic because you're having to lift that much higher 
all the time. Uh, so, the question, is it better to fill from the bottom or the top? If you've got 150 gallons like I have here, fill from the top. I mean, 38 minutes is not that much difference to fill these with the current ram pump that I have. If you're using a smaller pump, take a lot longer. A bigger pump, be faster. But if you are filling several thousand gallons, then uh, yeah, way faster to fill from the bottom than it would from the top. And if your tanks are taller, it's gonna take longer. And um, so yeah, there's just, if time is a concern, whether you're watering livestock or gardens that need water every day, that extra four hours might be something to consider. But um, for something this small, definitely just fill from the top. And the reason I say that is because you wouldn't have to have the uh, check valve system that I use to keep the water from going back down if the pump stops. Uh, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this three weeks of my efforts to get you two numbers. <laughs> it's been fun though. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell. And also leave me a comment on what you think about filling from top versus bottom. All right, I will see you in the next video.